and welcome back to another episode of me checking out Gary's Mod and Liminal Space and Halloween and kind of horror maps. I have like a variety of maps today, but we're going to start with some Liminal, just weird, creepy maps, including GM Construct, which in and of itself, if you look around here, it's like, this isn't normal. <laughs> it's like, what's going on here? Where are we? And I've learned a little bit more about what liminal spaces mean to people. And for me, it's just like areas that I feel uncomfortable in, but also areas that are more like designed to have people moving about in them and not necessarily are the destinations, if that makes sense. So yeah, I feel like um, GM Construct definitely fits that bill pretty nicely and it's like we're in the middle of an enclosed park between a bunch of buildings but there's no way to get in here i don't know but um yeah gmod and half-life stuff is some of my favorite halloween stuff to do and i was thinking about doing another part found a bunch of maps and people recommended a bunch of maps and so that's what we're gonna do just check out some random shit and uh Yeah, playing on GM Construct or playing like a construction map period in Gmod without other players and without like actually constructing su uh, stuff is a little fucking weird. Let's see. Also, I can get rid of the crowbar if I want now. I can just give the middle finger. Also, look at that flesh fingernail on the thumb. Holy fuck. So yeah, if I needed to, I can just, uh, I could just get rid of that crowbar. So here's the dark area. And again, we're talking about liminal spaces. Look at this weird wide open space. With one, like one thing. <laughs> and that's it. Okay, that actually freaked me out a minute. I freaked myself out because I forgot that the ha the Half-Life 2 flashlight had a fucking timer. But, uh, I used to use this map, a different form of it, but, um, I made, like, Gmod screenshot kind of things. Like, I would set up props and little stories and just take screenshots of them. And, uh, here's the... Matrix room. Thing is, I haven't played- oh god, I just, again, kind of scared myself. So, uh, yeah, I'm Skull Kid with Majora's Mask on, and my line of sight is above my head. Right. But, um, I feel like the construct map changed over the years, and I just wasn't aware of it. Because I played a lot of Gmod back in, like, 2005-ish. And then... I guess they just added a bunch of areas to it. Let's see. But, yeah, it is definitely... a kind of a weird map to start on... alone. Because it definitely fills the definition of liminal, in my opinion. What was that? That was, uh, that was a little weird. Whatever it was, I'm trying to give it the finger so it'll stop. Huh. Okay. So, uh, Sprint uh, being tied to the flashlight is, is a really interesting design choice. That I forget about every time I'm away from Half-Life 2 for a while.
probably just seeing things. explore a little bit more before I go on to the next map because I haven't seen GM construct in a very long time so this is uh, a lot of this is new to me hmm. it's gonna like no clip my way around a little bit make it faster try not to no clip too much until I've seen most of what I needed to see. But, yeah, I think I pretty much... Not just about everything. Now, you can drop a light. Let's see. Maybe you can do that somehow. Light. Okay. There we go. There we go. It's kind of weird. The way it lights up the darkness like this. Yeah. Okay. I think that's about it for this map. Uh, doesn't... Yeah, I think I caught most of the areas. Just gonna fly around a little bit. And, uh, and see if I missed anything. So yeah, that was that was weird though. There was, there was something... Something particularly strange going on. And, uh... Okay, fine. Alright, the truth is that this is called GM Haunted Construct. Alright? I played a Jape. I'm being silly. I thought it was gonna be much more haunted than it was, though. It was just one figure in the distance. It was like a G-Man in the distance. And that was pretty much it. Like, one G-Man walking around. So, but, I mean, as far as I know, this is actually the Construct map. Just, you know, m mildly haunted, and barely haunted at that. So, that was my jape. And truthfully, it was a poor jape. That said, this is still a very weird map. I mean, it's almost a Windows desk uh, desktop background, but also... Like, what are these buildings? Like, some bizarre form of realistic Springfield. It's like industry in the distance. Um, and again, this, the, the fucking source engine is, like, nearly 20 years old now, and it still does a pretty good job. I mean, it's not the most realistic, but it has its own charm. Whoa. I was expecting a spoop scare here, like, a hundred percent. I was definitely expecting something. <laughs> and it was nothing, it was just one dude walking. Alright. Well... There we go. There we go. Alright, so anyway, yeah, that was, uh... <laughs> that was GM Construct Haunted. I'm just gonna head into GM Construct real quick and see if there's a whole lot of differences. I was just being stupid. That said, though, uh, I still find the Construct map to be a little odd. It's definitely... I've been obsessed with these liminal space things lately, and, uh... Yeah, it's about the same thing, except this time your expectations are not, like, primed for spoops and skeletons. So, time to put a banana in the background. Alright, well there you go. So let's see, new game. Um, so I do have, like I said, I have some actual, like, I have a Silent Hill map. 
I have a role play map. Um, I have prop hunt, scary prop hunt. I don't know. I've got other abandoned Sears, shit like that, rot. So there's a lot of interesting maps that I have, but I want to stick with the liminal and uh, just slightly unsettling spaces. Um, so we got deja vu, that's horror. We've got asylum, obviously horror. Gleb, I don't know what the fuck that is, but let's start with the GM mall parking. That falls under the liminal space moniker. Okay, so let's see what it's about. Okay, so this is a mall parking lot. Here it is. And, uh, perfect. Just piles of trash to start. Very good. Mall parking lots are a little weird, but any parking lot kind of disturbs me. Especially the ones in Atlantic City, when you walk to your car alone at night. That I'm not a big fan of. But, let's see what the space is. I'm not really sure. Uh, it's a lot of it. And you can hear the echo, you can hear the reverb, but... Like, where even are we? Okay. Sure, there's no good reason for that to be down here, but sure. Okay, um, well... We have a van. Just, like, singular van? <laughs> Alright. Okay, now we're in the parking lot, and it's fucking massive. Chill Cola. Sorry, Chill Coke. You think they would go out of their way to, like, get rid of the copyright stuff, but they just leave the word Coke, but it's chill. Okay, now we're in some weird back rooms type things. Not even back rooms, but like, I guess the, the offices. And, uh... Error. So whatever that is, I don't even have that. Oh, I know what it is. I don't have... I don't have a couple games installed. I forgot to install, um, some stuff, so that may occur. Uh, it's gonna be fun going through these horror maps, and then there will be an error every now and then. Like, I can't tell if that's <laughs> part of the- I think that's just part of the advertisement. Actually... Hmm. I thought I had an interesting spray. I don't think I have any spray at the moment. Okay. That's gotta be automatic. Uh... Yeah. It's like motion activated. Okay. Oh, I wouldn't like this very much if I was here in real life alone. No. I don't think I would like this at all. And, uh... I don't know if this is, like, completely liminal space. I mean... I don't think the map was specifically designed as such. Oh look, Sub Yao. This is Meat's favorite fast food place. They have Berg and Hot Dog. I, I mean, technically that's Meat. I was expecting um, sandwiches, but no, there's Meat's. Some... This map is a little fucky, I gotta be honest. Something about this. It's not just that... The fuck? Okay, is, um... Is this one of those, is this one of those maps where it tries to fuck with you? Because... I don't think it is, though. I thought it was just a liminal space map. That's a little strange. Uh, so 
assorted snacks, fresh potatoes. That I don't I don't like that. Okay, can't go anywhere over around there. Good physics. <laughs> Very nice. This is how I feel right now about this map. Because I think it's trying to fuck with me. But I can't say for sure. Like, I'm... Kecker? I'm not sure what was going on with the Berg situation. I'm gonna bring one with me. Oh, the game doesn't like me bringing Berg with me. Um... I'm gonna go back down. So yeah, this is the ubiquitous parking lot. Uh, one shitty van again. Well, it's definitely... It's definitely uncomfortable for more reasons than just, like, multiplying Berg. And, uh... Yeah, this this definitely fits into some level of um, liminal space. <laughs> Good soda name. Wait, I can just sit in here? Huh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so that's fucking broken. Yeah, I'm very jumpy. I'm extremely jumpy right now. Seven down. Sukya cool. I go this way. No. If I can go up there, it's gonna be something. Yeah, I can. I can jump over. Yeah, this is where the liminal space hallways start to come in. Um, doors I can't open. Okay. Okay, what was- what, the, what- what is that? What is that? Okay, um, I- yeah, I don't know what this map is anymore. I- I just am very confused and... and slightly disturbed by it. Um, here's a... This is a storage room. More of those excellent physics. Cardboard box physics. Um, I guess this this is uh, functions as a storage room. Um, there's a broken down car. I don't know if this is technically part of the parking lot. Also, this map is fucking huge. See, like, generators, maybe? Okay, here's something interesting. Maybe this is, like, the power? This is where all the power is, like, controlled? Empty, or locked. 
Um, yeah, so uh, this, I don't know, there's something about this that kind of fits the, the horror vibe, as well as the liminal vibe. This map seems like it kind of borders on... on both. And here we are again, back in the parking lot. The thing that creeps me out the most about this, well, I mean, there's a couple things that creep me out, but one of the things that creeps me out the most is just wandering around for this long and still not finding a way to exit the parking lot. Like, here's all these doors. This is like kind of a nightmare, is like... forgetting where you parked, but then also not being able to exit the facility. So this just goes downstairs. Doors that go nowhere. Um, another underground area. Oh, oh, this is where the um, the weird chair was. Oh, okay. just lets you out on the ceiling. Very nice. I'm gonna clip up through here and see if there's anything else worth seeing. Part of me just wants to know if there's an outside area at all, because I'm, like, n not comfortable down here anymore. Just, it's too fucking weird. This map is massive. I don't know what this map was designed for. I really don't. Was it designed for RP? Was it designed for, like, scariness, or just to display a liminal space, or just accuracy of, like, a parking lot? Yeah, I, I don't know. But, it's interesting. It's definitely, uh, big, and there's, it's vast. So. Okay, so OBS decided to crash. And then I had to restart my computer. And now here we are again with uh, more Gmod. So I took the opportunity to look for another map or two. And I got one that seems pretty interesting. Which is Xanthus. I don't know. Let's take a look. A lot of these maps have really good screenshots, which makes me interested, but I don't know if the gameplay or if the actual game in motion, the map in motion, is going to look as good. But this one looks particularly weird and detailed, and it even won like an award or something. So. But yeah, I have, um, it's kind of hard to find maps that are like liminal space maps that I haven't done already. And it's kind of hard to find maps that aren't just straight up, like, shitty jump scares. So, hopefully this will be cool. Wow. Uh, so this is Source, somehow? Holy shit. Okay, so there's like a, a dreamlike atmosphere. This visually reminds me a little bit of Zen in Black Mesa. And, uh, holy fuck does it look good. I think this just falls under, like, post-apocalyptic weird map. More than, um, liminal spaces, or horror, or, um... Or, like, Halloween map. Wow, that's really cool. Good noises, too. <laughs> okay, I don't know where that frog is coming from, but it is a very loud frog. So we're at the edge of 
the ocean or the shore, and yet... I thought this was gonna be the edge of, like, some kind of fucking space. Like, uh, again, I keep thinking I'm in Zen. Alright, so we've got... Oh, we've got a creepy lighthouse in the distance. I'm gonna save the lighthouse, because that seems like a good spot to go to later. And instead, I'm just gonna walk along this, this path here. Well, very bright fire effect. Actually, I could probably get to the lighthouse from here. Okay, um... It might not want me to. Yeah, it looks like... Hang on, let me, let me clip over there. Uh, I can't move. So yeah, no, the, the lighthouse is japes. Confirmed. Looks cool from a distance, but the lighthouse is japes. Alright, so I'm gonna come back here. Alright, cool. Um, but yeah, the, the post-processing on this map is a little extreme. I don't mind so much. Whoa. Interesting. Okay, so, um... Alright, I don't know where I am. I don't know where this is supposed to be or what this is supposed to be. But, um... I thought that was a jack-o'-lantern. It was just mushrooms. Arranged in what looks like a jack-o'-lantern face. Stalberg Underground. Hazardous Materials Bay. How do I get up? What? Okay. Okay. It's gonna be one of those maps, isn't it? I had to no clip up there. As far as I can tell. And, uh. Hmm. Alright. I'm um, just gonna keep. Just gonna keep looking around. Admire the scenery. This is another. It's not liminal, whatever the definition of that word even is anymore, but. Putting myself here in real life, like, there's actually a VR, um, mod for Gmod. And there's a part of me that wouldn't mind trying a map like this in VR. But actually, like, trying to figure out what life would be like on this island, it would be like Luke trying to milk some, like, blue walrus tits. It's one of those things, you know? continue upwards. Really great ambience. Okay. So now we have the inside of Southwestern Disposal, Inc. Okay, so the map is not beyond playing creepy noises. Okay, maybe we don't need to go inside this place after all. Maybe we just leave. Maybe we just leave. All 
All right. No, I'm I'm going to I'm going to keep going. Good free stuff. Nice from Jim. Good stuff, very good. That's encouraging. That's there's nice good free stuff in here. can't even get in there, so there's no good free stuff aside from some empty bottles. This is a good one. I definitely like this map so far. Really, really weird, I would say radioactive mushrooms, really creepy ambience, um, good lighting. This map has it all. Pub stump. Can we have a pint? Wait for this whole, the whole thing to blow over. It's probably not a place you want to have a pint at. Oh, there's a LAN party, at least. But, trying to understand the purpose of this place. It was like waste disposal, but yet there's a pub? Vending machine, free good stuff. There's, a uh, beer, milk, there's batteries, shrooms, random, best you can get from open sewer, all you need, cheap and shit. What the fuck is this map? <sighs> I'm getting stuck on something. Okay. Something like just on the floor, or maybe like a, a weird bounding box. I don't know. High security storage facility. I'm still really trying to discern the purpose of this facility and, and understand it. And I don't... I really don't. Why is there quote-unquote good free stuff? Okay, um, I don't know which direction to go in now. I'm, I'm very confused. Cafe Baltic. There's another area down there. Then there's th whatever the fuck this is. This actually reminds me of that Sleep No More thing I've talked about. Huh? Um. It reminds me of the, um... The sleep no more thing, which is like, uh, I, I've called it a real life walking simulator. There's an, it's basically, um, lots of sets in an old hotel. And there's like an indoor graveyard that looks just like that, minus the purple light. So do I go down there now, or, you know what? Fuck it, I'll go up here. This is an easy map to get stuck on. Like, not stuck in regards to progress, but just on, like, the floor. Oh, that's weird. That is... Very fucking strange. I don't even think it's worth trying to understand what's happening here anymore. 
because none of this really makes any sense. The best I've got is some kind of mall. And even that doesn't fully work. Photocopy? There's a, a photocopy place. So if you need some copies made, apparently this is your place. Right here. Oh, more uh, surreal, creepy things in the distance there. Very nice. There's a hotel here. At one point. Descend further. Oh, nice bones. Coolant system? Lab? Again, nothing makes any sense. Stahlberg Underground. There's some kind of resistance. Uh, but I don't know what for. And coolant tank. Hazardous materials. Okay, so we can descend even even further. There's the hazardous radioactive materials down there. Maintenance station. The fact that I can't understand where I am is also making me uncomfortable. Like that there's no logical um, th there's no logical reason for any of this stuff. Hap Harper Appliance Company now. Like, is this supposed to be a pool? Everything's, like, all thrown over and This is where I came up from. Here's the outside. Oh, this is a different area. I've not been here before. What in God's name did I just witness? It's like Bioshock type stuff now. Okay, so something rose from the ocean. Like a fucking USO. This is a phenomenal map. Um, and it does exactly what it sets out to do, which is confuse and creep me out. But also, it's really good eye candy. Floor. What a dead end. How the fuck do you RP on this map? Oh, here's the hotel again. Okay, so I know where we are. Okay. Um. Hazardous area again. Dead end. Pipe tunnel. A 
again, I'm, I get jump scared by my flashlight turning off. Parker Building Materials. Okay, so here's, um, drum storage area. Oh, it's this place again. Alright, um... Just, uh... Not really sure what I've missed. But I feel like there's more. a little bit more, see if we can get to some of the other spots. Because again, there's a lot of images. And there's that stuff again. There's a lot of screenshots of this, and um, there's plenty of areas that I saw in the screenshots that I'm not seeing here. Maybe up here. Something new. Oh, right. It's this thing again. Um, cafeteria. Sorry, we're closed. Death sucks. Yep. Now that's good graffiti. This toilet is not nailed to the wall. Oh, strange shadowy figures with umbrellas. That's a good room. The shadowy figure with umbrella room? Man, I gotta get in there somehow. The pizza is a lie. Okay, so even a creepy cool map like this isn't beyond a meme. Good to know. Try not to use the graph gun if I can help it. Huh. And now it's like... Just someone's apartment? It looks like someone's house. This is just someone's house now. Is there a phrase for, like, is, is there another type of word for this? Like, it's not a liminal space, but it's like the fucking brain sequence, um, in Being John Malkovich, when he goes into being John Malkovich while being John Malkovich. It's like, none of the areas make any sense when combined, and it leads you, I don't know, further into confusion. Outside again. This is the start. This is where I started. Right here. It's 
Parker building materials. I don't I don't buy it. I don't believe it. So we got, um... Oh, right, here's more stuff. Okay. Forgot that I was looking at the lighthouse. And, uh, didn't go this way. Let me pay my respects to whoever is buried here. I will pour soda pop on the grave as per Toma's request Let's see what's going on down this way. Kind of reminds me of that one area of Resident Evil 4. So, that leads back inside, which I don't want to do right this second. have here. Um, tree bridge. Safe. Very safe. Okay. Um, don't think I've been exactly here. I would have remembered this. Oh my god. That's a helpful marker. Do I do it? Should I do it? Um, fuck it. Okay. Um, there's something, there's like a symbol here of some kind. sure what the purpose of this room is, but yeah, There's no lack of things to see. Oh. It's a double negative. There's things to see. some religious imagery here. French quality map? The fuck? Is that a baguette? <laughs> what? French bread? Oh my god. Okay, that- that is really interesting. I'm gonna, um, hold off on that for a minute. There's some, like, serious occult stuff happening under this island. Did that... This is the creepiest part of the map, easily. And... There's a fucking portal. 
Alright, here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Black Mesa Research Facility. What? That was so fucking cool and so bizarre. Was that what it was like to be born? Yeah, this, this map deserves a lot of uh, accolades <laughs> because it is incredibly unsettling, really well done, and there's some cool Easter eggs. I'm gonna go back out and I think try to find the last... Oh, this is I think where I was earlier. I wonder if I can turn the water off. No. Well, I think this is the last part of the map I haven't seen, or at least in my reckoning. There's probably more. I'll no clip around a little as well, but I want to go back outside and see if there's anything out there I missed. Pretty long stretch there. Yeah, so it's back here again. Okay, so this time I'm just going to follow this path. So, yeah, there's there's a story being told. I don't know what the fuck it is, but something's being told. Something is being communicated. Oh, it's just another statue. I don't think it continues beyond this, so I'm gonna no-clip this way. Let's see if I missed anything. Oh, weird rocks. Yeah, this map is fucking massive. <sighs> Cave area, which we were just at. Um, you have the facility, you have the sewer, you have the lighthouse area. I mean, there's so much to it. And way more than I expected when I started this. I'm just gonna look around in here. Let's see. Uh, yeah, there's... there's Plenty of stuff. I, I don't know if I missed a ton, but there's still probably a couple rooms that I missed, at the very least. <sighs> yeah, amazing. Just straight up amazing. <sighs> I think this would be a good place. Just something that unsettles me about being here. But, I guess, um, yeah, I guess that's most of it. Really interesting map. Um, one of my favorites so far, easily. And, uh, hope you enjoyed taking a look. Okay, so I'm gonna do, um, 
another weird map. I'm gonna do, um... Let's see. There's some, like, strange ones, like, actually... Uh, GM Trippin, for example. I think this is where we get into the alternate reality maps. Just stuff that, um doesn't try to adhere to any reality whatsoever. So that's fine. Subliminal is creating errors. Oh, good. Okay, the White Forest in Souvenirs. Okay, yeah. That's exactly what I expected. Strange skybox. And doors that are not visible. So, that doesn't seem like it's part of the... the strangeness. Oh, oh god. <laughs> okay. Okay. Is that Earthbound music? That answers my question. Very interesting. Uh, oh, come on. This is my song. Who sent me this? I guess I got a copyright strike this game now. All right. Well. No, it's cool. Um Ball pit. I, that's uh pretty fucking surprising and I'm fine with it. I really have no problem with that, but goddamn. Invalid Vertex made this. Okay. Whoever that is, thank you, Invalid Vertex. Appreciate the map. And I appreciate the uh, reference there. I wonder if the THX sound is copyright. Oh god. Ah! Uh... Apparently there's like Billy Joel music in this, so I probably don't want to be... Probably don't want to be around while that's happening. So yeah, this isn't exactly a scary map or anything like that, but it's- it's cool. And, um... Clearly it was made by someone who's watched a video of mine before. Oh, cool. Spelunky Arcade. Love the look of this place. And you can get Dr. Breen's Private Reserve Water. Isaac Rebirth Arcade Machine. I'd play that. That's copyright music. That's Superman, Tony Hawk. <laughs> Here's the ball pit song. I have one of those too. Of course. God, I love Gmod maps. That's 100% copyright claimed. The sexy trumpet music. We can't- we can't play any of that. No- no sexy trumpet Spin. music. Oh my god! <laughs> Spin! Fucking hell, man. I'm no longer disturbed. 
after the previous maps into this one, my disturbation has gone down to a point three. But this is a cool map too, for just in terms of weird, strange map kind of stuff. I like it. Um, GM Stormy Night. Why not? Let's take a look. It might be a Halloween themed map. Okay, so I'm getting frame crust. So this is already killing my 3080. But this is just straight up Halloween. And I'm cool with that. Looks like the entrance to a Ren Fair. Wait, did I play this already? I played- I think I played this for my last one. Let me double check, because I'm- This might just look similar. Now this looks better. ...than the one that was close to this. No, this- this is different. There's a witch's cauldron. There's... ...scarecrow jack-o'-lanterns. This is, uh... ...probably a good Halloween RP. RP was never really my thing. I mean, until it was, when I did, do you like to make the lizard spit? Then it was my thing. But, yeah, this is another cool map. Good Halloween map. It has a belfry. There should be a bat up here, but I'm not going to complain if there's no bats, it's fine. Um, good atmosphere, good lighting. Probably nothing particularly scary or liminal about it, but... Whoa, that was scary! You know what? That kind of makes a good thumbnail. Not that I think it would be a good thumbnail for this particular video, but in general... really cool. <laughs> Just another massive map with lots of interesting things to look at in a Halloween setting. Alright. I saw, um, there's GM Gleb. There are some maps that are just straight up like nonsensical. I don't know if this is one of them, but, like, there's BLAH! And stuff like that. Wow, that's number one and number two. The most frightening part of this map so far is that the toilet has not been flushed. Kind of like, I don't know what it is, like a, a hydro, hydroponic station. Fucking watermelons. Okay. Wear your goggles or wear new eyes. So how does one get new eyes?
Ooh, weird room. What is that stuff? It's like a server room, but you're on top of the servers, maybe. I don't know. More weird room. But yeah, again, the space here is starting to, like, not make a whole lot of sense to me. But I guess you can... ...take that nowhere. I love the creepy ambient noises, but the rain is on such a short loop and it has an obvious cut point. And I'm like, ugh, kills it. It's another pretty big map, but I can't discern the purpose of anything that I'm looking at. Just don't know why any of this. This is like all connecting areas. And shitty bathroom. This is where I started. Ugh. Remember when Duke Nukem Forever started with you picking up a turd and drawing with shit on the wall? That was, uh... An amazing moment in video game history, let me tell you. Is that supposed to be a key? I think that's supposed to be a key that I have to use on a door. It- <laughs> That is the worst looking key model I've ever seen. Was it- <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this map, because on one hand, it's it's kind of got a good, creepy atmosphere. On the other hand, I'm like, what is happening? Why is it happening? I guess there doesn't need to be a reason. It just has to, you know, just has to be. And, and, and it be. It be what it do. Definitely do. Um, even no clipping. Yeah, there's there's more. There's more I haven't seen, for sure. Oh, that's a penis. Alright. That's penises. Good. Good room. That's good room. That's, uh... Penis graffiti room. Don't worry, it's in a first party game. Sure, it's a mod. Just graffiti. It's like stick figures. Uh-oh. There it was again. But also... You have, um... I'm gonna try not to look at them, but here's, um... Satan Circle. Or whatever it's called. <laughs> The pentagram. Yeah. Okay, that's an interesting map, too. Could do that Silent Hill map, but I also kind of want to check out... Halloween Farm Prop Hunt seems kind of neat. Um, what was the one with the weird name... ...that I downloaded? I downloaded, uh... Maybe it's an other. Yeah, it's Ah, B3 and Blah. And Rot. Check out Blah. Okay. I see. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> I'm not supposed to be laughing at ha uh, Halloween maps, but... It's pretty funny. And, and what is this supposed to be? This is definitely a, like, a huge vibe-changing map. This doorway is not a doorway. Okay. Yeah, it's just insane. That's crazy. What is it? Oh. Op? No scope? Jello? Okay, so yeah, none, <laughs> none of this is particularly fitting my criteria for uh, Halloween maps, but... That doesn't mean I can't check out more of these maps at a different time. Because this stuff is weird, and I like weird and surreal maps like this. So, yeah, it, it probably deserves its own look in a different segment. Weirdest Gmod maps ever. Top 10 weirdest Gmod maps. These Gmod maps will make you question your life. And there's plenty like this, too. Like, I got a ton of interesting suggestions for um, my Gmod showcase. Does it all mean something? I think, oh, Nipper made maps for, oh god, for, um, Counter-Strike and, like, I think they're just, yeah, they're just, like, supposed to be these strange-ass fucking maps. I remember the name, and I remember playing some of that person's maps in the past. Is this, wait, 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 is this Worldcraft or Hammer? Yep, let's see. <laughs> Gold source style map. Wow. Okay, well, yeah, this kind of shit deserves its own segment entirely because these are really, really fun maps to check out. But I do think it would be great to play Silent Hill Condo now. And there's other maps that are Halloween themed, of course, but... Oh, this is how Silent Hill 3 starts, with that exact message. Use the Silent Hill game mode that comes with this map. Oh, okay, hang on, I'm gonna pause and figure out how to do that. I got it. So it's in the Silent Hill game mode. And uh, I'm gonna check this out for a little while. Okay, so E, open doors, pick up items, investigate areas, and examine notes. Cursor will appear when highlighting an item or an area. Toggle flashlight and run.
your last letter, I managed to locate the key you requested. Your furnishing company was still holding it, even after the incidents. It will unlock the front door of the Sycamore apartment unit, but not the rooms themselves. I'm sure you'll find a way. You've always been a resourceful person. Still not sure what you hope to find. So I might not be able to play through all of this. But I did try to play Silent Hill Alchemilia at one point, or Alchemilla, whatever. It was during the um, Vine Sauce uh, Variety's Hope Heck Razor, and uh, it got kind of confusing, and I got lost, and it, sadly it didn't do a whole lot for me, but it was cool. The atmosphere was really cool. It felt like Silent Hill. has a mix of a Silent Hill and Half-Life feel right now, which that doesn't even need to be said because that's exactly what it is. This is also a video game where you move. Don't tell Ian, I know he's keeping things quiet. That bastard should be hung in the rafters. What he's doing to her doesn't act. He's going to do something. Something is under the houseplant. Spare. That's cool. Also, just adding Silent Hill sound effects is enough. really wish that the flashlight <laughs> wasn't tied to the stamina and vice versa in Half-Life 2. That's, that's one thing. I mentioned it before, but it's one thing that annoys me. I'm just waiting for everything to get scummy. This room was supposed to be renovated. Can't tell if something... Oh, I think... <laughs> I thought it was supposed to be like a surreal, creepy moment, but it's just that the bookshelf is rotated improperly. Oh, that's fucked. Pretty effective so far. I should be able to pick that up. I could use that. But it's okay. It's fine. Yes! The best parts of Silent Hill. Grunge.png, opacity 50% overlay. Fuck yeah. I'm not going to be reading this 
out loud. But, you know, there's a story here. Uh, sorry if that's a bit of a cop-out. Oh, there we go. There's some meat. I was hoping we would see some meat. Whoa. Perspective. Where am I now? This is really good. <sighs> Captures the Silent Hill thing. But also, um... I just wouldn't mind seeing more maps like this in general. Again, I'm sorry, I'm not reading this stuff. Some would say that defeats the purpose, but I, I just enjoy looking at the maps and... ...wandering. Maybe if I started with this... Whoa! Oh my god. God damn it. My back. Something feels wrong. The air is almost too thick to breathe. Last scene at gruesome murder apartment. It's in my reckoning that one should avoid the gruesome murder apartment. But hey, that was pretty cool. And there's multiple endings, too, it seems. So, if this is something that seems uh, like it's up your alley, check it out. Okay, start new game. Um, I'm gonna go to the RP map. So, yeah, maps like this, the RP maps, uh, whatever dark RP stuff that my RP guy used to join years ago. Uh, I'm joining for very different purposes this time around because this map looked really cool and I want to see if it looks as good as the screenshots made it look. And uh, it just makes me wonder what kind of stuff people would do. How many weeks of their lives were spent like sleeping in this sleeping bag? How many weeks of people's lives were spent just 
looking around and just trying to build a story around their environment. And now it's like empty. The map itself looks really cool, but yeah, I don't I don't know if people still do this. I think our I think Gmod still has a pretty um active roleplay scene. So uh yeah, this looks great. Bridge in the distance there. Good ambience. Um fucking cornfield. It's like a lot of detail was put into this. Just makes me wonder what kind of role playing people were doing though. Like what what would you do in a map like this? It'd be a farmer's a farmer's wife? A farmer's son? I don't know. You just living in this gray, dreary it's like New England and England. We'll call it New New England. Oh, got trains, which is a staple of Half Life. Okay. So, let's see what's going there. Yeah. Go in here. There's even some kind of machinery to control the trains. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Huh. That's really cool. I'm gonna do it again with this one. There it goes. This isn't a scary map so much as it is just a little, like, unsettling. Even with a bunch of people doing RP here, I could see this being... slightly off-putting for some reason. Uh... I recall the trains? like a whole switchboard system here. Not that I can tell. Alright, well let's take a look at this town a little bit more. Love the, the foggy atmosphere and, and the city and the Did they just run on their own? Or maybe I pressed the right button? Oh. Oh, that's both of them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... I guess I did that. Or part of the RP is, uh... The train's running at a certain schedule. So... I don't know. I'll tell you what's weird is why is there a military vehicle with a gun turret on top of it here? What what story is that? The trains have to be running on a schedule. Um what what story is being told here that there would be something If there would be something like that going on. I wonder if it, it's like, you know what fucking movie it reminds me of? I think it's The Mist, Frank Darabont. Kind of reminds me a little bit of that. So here's a cool looking house. I mean, I could see the RPing being very bountiful here. Um. Bunk beds. What's uh, going on in here? Okay. Ah, wonderful. Yeah, this is a little creepy. Get 
go through there. I'm just gonna no-clip. Fuck it. I, I don't want to break the immersion too much, but... As a lazy person, no-clip is a fucking lifesaver. Nice, uh, scummy clothing. I guess I'm gonna RP as someone trying to watch the TV, but the vegetation has grown in through the house, and now I have to watch the TV through weeds. That's my RP character. But, um, yeah, I don't- I would not want to live here. This is not a town that I would feel comfortable living. At all. It's just... Small and strange and... I don't- uh, something about the way the road is set up. Well, this isn't particularly liminal spacey, there- there's something... Definitely kind of something off about this- the way this town is set up. Checking out some buildings. It looks like a lot of this, again, with RP maps, I guess they tend to have copy-pasted. And just a lot of open area for, uh, people to do... ...to do their thing in. So that says SOS. Yeah, I wonder what... I wonder what's happening here. But that's kind of part of the fun, I, I suppose, is trying to come up with your own story. Zombies? Don't know. Someone's running windows. Oh, that's probably a normal thing to happen in this town. Is this an underground parking garage? Because this... Well, it's not as extensive as the previous map, but... It's totally empty. I'm gonna see if there's anything... No, nothing. Nothing parked here, too. It's just a completely empty, like... Wide open space. Underground. Weird. I mean, it makes sense. It just... Feels weird. Anything? No, can't interact with anything here. Oh! Oh. I like all these extra little spaces. Like, I'm trying to now view the map as how it was designed to be played. And... Was... Was this here before? Well, having lots of options for RP, I guess the more the better. Can I open this? Let's see. Um... Oh yeah, look at that. It works. It's pretty neat. Asheville Police Department. This is gonna be like Resident Evil 2 now. Again, very empty. Okay, that uh, caught me off guard a little bit. It seems like a zombie thing. Upon closer inspection. The fuck? The fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Um... Uh, okay... Okay... Uh, 
there's story here. Maybe Berg is here. Uh, I was right, that bunker is still in use. What happened to Walter's business partners? No, no one seems to know where Walter is. Family, nothing here. What's inside the bunker? Is Walter there? Who the fuck is Walter? Okay, uh... So, based on what people have recommended to me, it's hard to know what maps were designed to fuck with me, and which maps are designed to just, like... ...you know, be creepy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna... ...see... Oh! Okay. That's definitely off. Um, so I guess a plane crashed here. Kind of explore a little bit, but it's, uh, it's very scummy. God, I wonder what the RP sessions were like here. Still really, really well-designed, cool map. It's river down there. Uh, where'd my, uh... Where'd my vehicle go? Uh, over here. Oh, this- this may have... Okay. Got that a little stuck. <laughs> nice. gonna like see if I can head to that bridge. It's tense here. Um yeah something something definitely went down in this town. That rhymes. But what what went down? Sugar? It's like a sugar factory? You know, I'm just gonna leave the car here and, and walk. I feel like that's a little bit more... ...interesting for me. I get to explore and really, like, absorb... Uh, ...the atmosphere a little bit better that way. Interesting. reminds me of Seven Days to Die a little bit. This area. Oh, this is completely fucked up. Yeah, that's that's been, like, decimated. Okay, so... I think now I want to head up onto this bridge. I've been seeing this bridge in the distance the whole time, and it's imposing and somewhat creepy. So I feel like it would be a good idea to at least cross over it and see. Maybe the creepy stuff is in my mind, just because it's foggy, and I know that this is supposed to be like a... Um, a somewhat disturbing map. I mean, sure, there's abandoned cars, but that's fine, right? I mean, it's normal. Hear the sound of the river, and maybe some, like, animal or something, I don't know. where the plane crashed. I- 
I'm very surprised at how large this map is. I do feel like there's something to be said for a, a time when you're walking around on a bridge in the fog, you know, alone, that, uh, that will just, no matter where, what you're doing, will creep you out, period. Wow, there's a whole fucking city here, too. Holy shit. Is this like a hundred person RP server? Oh, wow. So yeah, I'm gonna say zombie. I'm gonna say zombie outbreak. This has all the makings of such. Um, I wanna just see if this building... Ooh. Oh my god. I don't want to spoil too much of it by clipping, but I also want to see what's going on in here. This is a full-ass apartment building. Oh wait, no it's not. Though it does have... Just clipping up here. I'm trying to figure out... Sorry to not take the elevator. <laughs> I'm just trying to see how expansive this map is at this point, because I... You're next, it says. I am astounded by this- this whole environment. Yeah, we got an elevator. Okay, that doesn't work, but the stairs do. I'm gonna get to the top of this building and just get a good view of the city. Well, it's foggy, but let's see what I can do. Okay, this is non-accessible areas. I don't even think I'm supposed to be on the top of the building. What is that? 